Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to another episode of Human Resource Machine. Last off, we pretty much gave up trying to do the um, Prime Factor Factory one. And so let's, I'm going to head back to like countdown here. Um, because I want to kind of see if I can um, incorporate the um, inbox jump thing. Uh, so let's see first off. Actually, let's ask. So we need to cut it down by two first. So hold on, let's copy and we'll paste it there. Let's clear this one out. So using this strategy again, something like that. So, I don't know that this would be very helpful though in this instance, would it? Center out box. Oh, what am I doing? I'm freaking using the wrong command. there and if it's negative How did I have box and negative one? What?
more I try and like do things in my head, it's just like the worse this gets. <laughs> my um, smallest solution to date. The thing is, over doing it like this, I've lost that kind of initial setup that I had before of this. Okay. Copy it to here. zero outbox it and then back to here the thing is though the copy two is only going to be used I don't think we can use the outbox right there. The outbox isn't going to be effective for us there. So if it's zero. Outbox it straight away. Back to the inbox. If it's not. negative. We need to bump it up. If it's positive, we need to bump it down.
been to a copy to from somewhere. Grab it from the inbox, copy it to there, send it to the out box. Copy from there, if it's zero. Less effect. <laughs> I was less efficient than last time. Jeez. Jeez. Do you ever get the feeling that um, you're just not getting the gist of this properly? So we can do that. Inbox. Copy to zero. If it's zero, loop straight back round. Okay, that's dealt with zero. If it's not, if it's negative, we want to increment it, outbox it, Copy from zero. And then there. just about that subroutine, isn't it? I need to work out that correct subroutine.
not handling it at zero though, am I? So if it's zero before the bump though, then I've already handled the zero, right? I don't know with that one. I don't know with that one. Let's try this one. Maximization room. But only the bigger of the two. So I need to reduce it by one command and one step. Alright, so... Uh, we'll keep that. So again, let's set this up like we had it before. Kind of like that. Uh, an outbox. So we're going to want to... Copy to there. And then we're going to do inbox copy to here. And then if we subtract from zero, and the answer is negative... If we subtract from zero, and the answer is negative, then six minus seven. This first one's going to be larger, right? steps. Right, so rather than copying it to one, let's just subtract for zero. If it's negative, we're going to do that. Else, we need to... Add zero. <laughs> All right, it's got us on the speed challenge. We just need to optimize it now with like less steps, one less step. Sorry, one less command. How can we take a command out of this? The only thing I can think... that would come to there. Maybe that will do it, actually. 
Boom! Finally. Some form of success. Light up those lights, boy. Alright, so we've got the first... Up to the first 17 done, anyway. Um, multiplication workshop. What do you want out of us here? So we need to quit by three. Can't do any one time setup. Five more commands. So it's six and three. Six, three. We have a one there. Copy that to there. So then we need to do that. Three, subtract one. If it is zero, go to there. Else, copy from here. Copy from there. Add to there. doing this is getting longer and longer i got freaking 18 in my first attempt man jeez that's all right let me copy this into um my notepad here and then at least i can see what i had before that's just crazy that's like five more commands already Zero inbox copy to one. That's what I had before, by the way. 
And then... Copy to two as well. And a copy from zero. And if it's zero... I want to copy from the result and go back to here. Else, what are we going to do? Pump down zero. Sorry, I'm trying to like decipher this as well as um, I'm missing a, a zero bump here. check as well if either of the values are zero we just instantly go to the um Now, if it's zero, we need to As I said though guys, I'm going to bring it to the close, this is in the last episode, if you would want to continue seeing me struggle on with these optimizations, please do let me know in the comments. Um, I'm probably not going to pre-record any more videos up to this point, so I'm going to wait to see what you guys want to see, uh, whether you do want to see me carry on with this or not. Uh, so yeah, let, leave me your comments guys, let me know. Thank you very much for watching, but as always, I've been Ock, you've been awesome, see ya.